in the previous video, we started looking at custom solutions. In this video, we'll look at publisher. The publisher is used to identify who has made the customizations. Now let's say that there are two developers in the organization, Ram and Nikhil. Now let's say that Nikhil is a developer who is making the customizations. Let's say that he is adding a new entity in this particular, in this particular solution. So there needs to be a way to identify that he was the one who did it. So to do that, we can add a publisher. So to add a publisher or to use one of the existing publisher, just click on the search icon and then choose one of the publishers which is already there. Now there's already a publisher with my name in it, which is Test Nikhil Publisher. So I'm just going to select that. Okay. So what this will tell me is that Nikhil is the one who is actually making the changes to this particular solution. He is responsible for all the customizations which is being made in this particular solution. Now let's say that you want to add a new publisher. So to do that, again click on the search icon. Click on look up more records. And then click on new. You will be redirected to this page where you can start entering the information about that publisher. You'll give a display name that is what will be presented over here like uh, like this one like test nickel publisher and then the schema name will be generated based out of your display name so let me give a publisher for create a publisher for ram so the schema name will be created based out of the display name if you want you can customize it if you want to okay and then prefix so prefix so if you're creating a new entity through this particular solution whatever is the uh, prefix which is being used in the publisher that is in this test nickel publisher will be assigned to that particular entity okay so what I mean by that is now let's say that I change the prefix to ROM okay and if you do that then and uh, you use this particular publisher in your uh, solution that is your custom solution and you create a new entity in this solution then the schema name of that entity will look something like this ROM underscore ET name okay and then the option value prefix this is the default option set value prefix which will be used for newly created options for the solutions which are associated with this publisher okay and finally you have all the phone number email website information about this publisher so this is applicable when there are more than one organization which is making changes to your crm organization now let's say that there are two companies, Accenture and AHA Apps, which is making customizations to this particular CRM organization. Then the publisher will actually, there will be one publisher which will be there for AHA Apps and the other one for Accenture. Okay. So when we create the publisher for AHA apps, we'll be entering the information about AHA apps is like phone number, website, email, etc. So if there's any issues, then we can contact them. Similarly for Accenture. Okay. So once you've entered all the information, just click on save and close. So now if I click on the search icon and if I remove this and if I search it again you'll see that Ram Yaramasu has been added as a publisher okay so I'm just uh, I'm just going to continue using the test nickel publisher that was just for demonstration purposes so this is one way of creating the publisher 
another way of creating the publisher is clicking on the down arrow next to settings customizations going to publishers and then clicking on new over here and then creating it from here in the next video we'll continue looking at the custom solution